How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So EA just dropped two brand new SBCs today. The SBCs we're used to, it is the Foot Champions Upgrade and the Foot Champions Premium Upgrade. The cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, the normal one requires five reds for an 83 to 86 rated overall red pack. And the premium one requires 11 red picks um, that it gives you an 86 plus player pick. So we're going to do the 83 to 86 uh, pack today. I've got five reds ready to go in that I don't think are very good. An 86, unfortunately, is not great to put in, but I want to do it anyway. I think the risk is really good because you can get some really good cards here. If we have a quick look at Red Foot Champions items, uh, you can actually get some really good cards. You can get the likes of Depay and Rashford. Um, you could also get Luis Alberto back or Oye Zabal. Uh, you can get Ziyech, Werner, Nabry, hidden by my face cam, uh, Zaha, uh, Gomez, Paulinho, Valverde, Jao Felix, um, Delaney, the lady. Um, he's not bad, though. He's all right. There's a lot of really good cards to get, to be honest. Um, you know, Florenzi's decent as well. He's a really good midfielder, apparently, I've heard, when he gets brought off of the bench. So there are some really good plays that you could potentially get here. Uh, and I think it's worth it, to be honest. Um, obviously, it doesn't include certain team of the weeks and stuff. So you ain't going to get Ben Yedder, for example. Um, but I think it's definitely worth it. I think for five red cards, if you've had... Say you play three weekends, you've got gold three each weekend, you've got terrible reds. It's a, another red pick kind of technically so i think it's worth it i think it's worth opening and having a go and we're gonna do this on my account and see if we can get something good so hopefully we can fingers crossed let's go come on ea please be a walkout you want to see walkout england i think because that could be joe gomez or marcus rashford please be a walkout please come on what is it gonna be yay what is it gonna be it's a walkout go on what's it gonna be english please english german oh no not verna hey Volland? Mm, 84. We've got 84 rated Zac Efron. I mean, it's all right. It's not the worst. The only thing that was like, I got worried there because I thought it was going to be a duplicate Werner. I already have Werner in the club. I thought it'd be a dupe Werner, which would have been absolutely infuriating. However, it, Volland's not bad. We'll take Volland. It's an 80. I kind of submit an 86 for an 84. So it's a bit of an L for me, but I'll still take it. You know, it's all right. Um, it's it, it's better than what it could have been. And I was just happy to get a walkout, really. I was happy to get that level of excitement, to be honest. Okay, so we are on Anton's account now, or on his share play, should I say. Um, he submitted Osman, Bellotti, and uh, the other guy. The only one he can get back here is Bellotti. Hopefully he doesn't. Uh, but a Joe Gomez would probably be perfect. Um, that would be really, really nice to get would be a Joe Gomez. Or maybe a Rashford so we can sell his Rashford and, uh, and work in the inform in some way. Here we go. Come on, Anton. Please be a walkout EA. Please be a walkout. Come on. What's it going to be? Is a walkout. Are we getting something decent? Italian? Florenzi? That's not bad. That is that is actually pretty decent to get, to be fair. Apparently, he's incredible at centre mid. Like, I've heard some outrageous claims that he's, he is apparently the next Hullet. I disagree massively. Hullet is Hullet. And he's like five foot nine. But, or five foot eight. But, that's still decent. I think as a super sub, as a midfielder, Florenzi would be pretty solid. Now, I think Anton wants to do another one. So, uh, we'll be back in a second with Anton's second pack. Okay, we're back. Anton has another pack to open. Let's see if we can get him something decent in this one. Please be a walkout again, EA. Please be another walkout. Come on, here we go. What is it going to be? Are we about to get a walkout for Anton in the second pack? Come on, show me that little... That little line that means it's a walkout. It is a walkout. Come on. Good nation, please. English. Portuguese. Jao Felix. Go. Oh, it's, it's Lopez. Oh, I thought that was going to be Jao Felix. I really did. I got so excited. I thought that was going to be Jao Felix. You know what? Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, it's not the it's not the worst in the world because uh, it's half decent rating wise. But I really thought that would be Jao Felix, which would have been a really, really nice player to get. That's unfortunate. Okay, we've got Michael's pack now. Let's see if we can get him something decent. Uh, fingers crossed we can get him something to do. What is the team looking like real quick before we open it? Is it looking decent? Decent team. A red Paulina would be pretty perfect actually here. Or a Joe Gomez would be really nice as well. Um, I guess like a Rashford would be pretty sick instead of a Guerrero too. Let's see if we can get him one of these. Come on. Here we go, EA. Please give us a decent player. Be a walkout. Be English is all I ask. That is all I want because they're the most expensive ones, I think. Verno would be nice as well. It is a walkout. Come on. Big Nation, please. English. Spanish. Is that... Who? Who is that? 
Oh, is that Pacheco? Oh, no, 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 no. I think the odds are stacked in your favor to get walkouts. Like, I think most of these packs will be walkouts, but that is absolutely unfortunate and appalling, really, um, is Pacheco. That is unfortunate. I think the risk is high, but the reward is even higher, and that was not a reward. All right, we have got Thibs pack now. Thibs has got his ultimate pack saved, his premium team of the week pack saved for his ultimate packs for tomorrow and his premium team of the week for next team of the week. It would be hilarious if I just opened his premium team of the week, but I'm not going to do that because I am not a mean person like that. Here we go. 83 to 86 rated for champions player for Thibs. Are we going to see the Rashford or Gomez in this pack? Or just anyone really decent, to be honest. It is a walkout, I think. It lagged. What happened? Hello? Oh no, the share play connection lost. We're going to find out who it was though. It was Anthony Lopez and we didn't even get to see the pack because for some reason the share play just bugged out. Thank you very much EA, greatly appreciate it. Okay, so Kalen wants to do one now. Uh, he's putting in Florenzi, Danny Ings, Javinho, Ensame and uh, I forget the guy's name and I should know it. What is his name again? Osserman. There you go. I couldn't. It was on the tip of my tongue. Uh, anyway, submitting those players to hopefully get himself back something decent. Now, obviously, they're 83 to 86s. I actually did the maths. Uh, there are only two non-walkouts, and they are Ings and Belotti. Uh, and to be honest, I counted it up, and there's I think there's 23 available players, and eight of them are L's, 15 are dubs, or I would consider 15 of them dubs, um, and eight of them are L's. Uh, so... To be honest, the odds the odds are decent. The odds are actually pretty decent in this. But at the end of the day as well, it's how ever EA are feeling because the odds mean nothing usually. We all remember Jaden Sancho from last year uh, for the team of the season packs when EA randomly flicked a switch and and went made them from going good to bad, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, so EA can do that all the time. It is a walkout though. Come on, big nation EA. English. German striker. Werner. No, it's Zac Efron again. I thought that was going to be Timo. I thought that was going to be Timo Werner. I don't know why. I just thought that was going to be Timo Werner. That is so annoying. Get him off my screen. I don't want to see him. I don't care, EA. I don't care. Zach Efron, as if. Get out of my packs. Show me that Chelsea badge, EA. Show me the Chelsea badge. That's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please smash a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Apologies for the first three clips. Uh, basically, I accidentally was in the full face cam mode on my recording software and not in the one where it has my face cam in the top corner and then my gameplay. Um, so I had to basically record my face. Well, I recorded my face cam. I had to go back and get the gameplay and put my face cam over the top of it. So if it's a little out of sync, I do apologize. Um, and we're going to call it five because we didn't really get to see Thibs. So technically, it's actually five instead of six uh, packs that we opened. So yeah, we'll call it five for like the title and things like that. But yeah, thank you all for watching the video. Thank you all for the epic support as well on the rewards video this morning. You guys seem to be really enjoying it uh, and just enjoying the uploads in general, really, which honestly uh, warms my heart massively. I'm very grateful that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, but thank you all for the support, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Check out the second channel link in the description and I'll see you later.